How kind of fun is it to get out here, kind of with jointly with the Raiders, the, you know, the two pro franchises in this city? Yeah, it's nice to have those ties. Uh, you know, it's still early, but that uh, kind of collaboration I think will be huge in this city and um, give this community a lot to to come behind. And uh, obviously, there's still a lot of ties through you know this week and what happened last year. So it's nice to be able to do that and support some of the police officers here that were so bravely um, on call on October 1 of last year so it's uh, you know it's a good event and it's uh, it's great to be able to, to give back with uh, you know all this community has given to us. You see all these people, all these officers and firefighters standing here to meet you, how does that make you guys We should be the ones that are you know lining up to take pictures with them and um, you know all the brave things that they've done especially you know the main thing last year October 1 in that tragedy. Um, you know, it, it really puts you into place, you know, how lucky we are and, um, you know, having these brave men and women uh, be able to look after us. Is the, uh, when you think, like you kind of touched on a little bit, when you think of the two major pro franchises getting together, you mentioned down the road you guys can do a lot more. I know any, everybody living in Vegas would never guess like five years ago you'd have the NHL and the NFL with fans lining up to get autographs and meet and greet and so forth. It's crazy this city, isn't it? It is. It's uh, its uh Vegas is always exciting, and I think uh, you know bringing sports franchises here has only escalated that even higher. So it'll be uh, it'll be fun to have the Raiders uh, be able to play here in a couple of years, and I think everyone's looking forward to it, including all the soccer players. Uh, like Riley was saying that with the whole tragedy and so forth, you guys should be going to them to get autographs as opposed to vice versa. Well, 100 percent, they're they're the heralds. Um, you know, they're just playing a game and trying to help. And, uh, they did everything, not us, so we're just grateful to be able to come down here and uh, meet these guys as well. As a, as a guy who's lived in Las Vegas for quite a while now, how crazy is it to think that you got NHL and NFL players here getting autographs in Las Vegas? How, I mean, yeah, how it's, things have... It's, it's amazing. I, you know, I'm looking forward to them getting here and uh, going and watching some games. So um, it's just nice to get out and uh, do something before they get here with meet a couple of guys. and. Uh, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward, like I said, to, to get out some games. Any more questions for you guys, the Golden Knights? Here. Oh, it's definitely a dope experience. I mean, getting to see those guys and then getting to be around the first responders is definitely a dope experience. I'm glad to be here. You weren't around for the October 1st thing, but a lot of these people were involved with that October 1st, that shooting and helping others in the community. What are your thoughts? Oh, definitely. Oh, these guys are our heroes, you know, and Vegas is heroes, you know, Vegas strong. We support the movement, you know, our new town coming up, and uh, we're, gl we're gl glad to be here. Played a single play in Las Vegas yet, but to see all these people standing in line for you, what is that? How does that make you feel? Oh, it feels great. You know, all the support we get here, uh, the fans loving the new team and the new town. It's going to be a great, great time. And what did you think, uh, kind of driving by the new stadium? Oh, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to play in it. Uh, get my feet down, wet. You know, get out there moving and everything. So it's going to be exciting. So Markel, how's this week feel? You guys won the game, got that over with now, and you can move on. How's it feel finally? Oh, it definitely, uh, definitely. If, it feels good to get that first and win off our back, you know. Uh, but we're on to the new seven, new week. We got the Chargers coming up, a tough divisional game, so we're looking forward to that. Hey guys, what do you kind of think of Las Vegas as your next new home, though? Oh, yeah, 2020, definitely. I mean, we're worried about uh, what we got to take care of in, in Oakland right now, but once we get here, it's going to be amazing. Now, did your agent brief you on the lack of state income tax here? How you feel oh, about yeah. that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. I mean, you know, making more, more money, that's great. Mark, do you think like down the road when you guys and the Knights get together and do things like this out in the community, how, how special will that be? Oh, definitely great. I mean, bringing more people out. I mean, because you see right now it's a lot of Knight fans and a, Ra a lot of Raiders fans, you know. I mean, it's a great experience, great, great having them here to add to it, you know, make it strong. Are you guys Knights fans? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I watched them, uh, watched them out there last year. They did their thing for, for their first season. I'm proud of them. Thank you, Mark. Question. All right, Eric, how cool was it just to kind of be here? I mean, the Raiders, the Knights, you guys are coming in a couple of years. They're excited that you guys are coming. Are you excited they're, coming, they're here? Exactly. Um, super excited. Um, but really, I was really excited just to meet the, the true heroes, you know. And yesterday was a very special day uh, in this city, you know. And uh, just to remember all those lives that were lost and the families that are still dealing with those uh, 
those losses, you know. So that was the true meaning behind all this. You haven't played a single down in Las Vegas yet, but is it starting to feel like it could be home? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, just the environment, just a few hours we've been here so far. So fans are great. These people are super supportive already. And you're a fan? I am a Knight fan. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> True question. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because Riley Smith, the Golden Knights player here, said mm -hmm. that, that really you guys should be the ones going to them for the autographs and the meet and greet. And that's kind of like you were touching on that a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it's all about is these guys getting the... Right, absolutely. Like like I said, it's all about the people here and the first responders that were uh, on the scene, you know. And it just so happens that we have a platform to, you know, bring a little bit of positive energy to this community, you know. But to see the smile on these people's faces today it really means a lot. Have you driven past the stadium site yet? What do you think? I have not. We're, uh, we were told that we were going to before we take off. So. Right. Yeah, Eric, now this week, Chargers, big division game. Coming off a big win, you finally got that one under your bed. How are you feeling going into the week? Oh, we feel very positive. You know, even going into this uh, past game, we felt really positive. Even though we were 0-3 at the time, uh, you know, we just got to capitalize on the uh, small things. And, you know, rival or not, we, we just play one game at a time.